Hello folks, today we are going to do a very quick video on brass. Do you have any favorite modules? Please comment below. Let us know. If we have them, we'll pull them up and demonstrate them. And if we don't, then we'll have to just look at the price tag to see if it's worth buying. But uh, I would love to know uh, what you like, what gets you inspired, what gets you composing, what gets you out of the rut, because um, that's what this whole series is all about. So what I, we've done here is I've recorded a, just a very basic G minor, B flat, D minor, and E flat chord structure with some strings and using the um, Albion 1 8 Vs and their legacy highs. I wanted to get that out of the way so that we could actually play with the brass. The first one that I want to look at is Thematic Horns uh, from Abbey Rhodes 1. And I use this for themes, and of course it says thematic horns, so that makes complete perfect sense. And I don't really find much use for it elsewhere, um, but it works really well for this. So let's take a look here. the Abbey Rhodes One Grand Brass can be used in conjunction. I use this very rarely. Let's listen to that one by itself. I do like the staccato on that. I find that the thematic horns work the best on the long setting, and they have a, all kinds of different mics here. I'm just using mix two, nothing fancy. It's a more of a hall, thematic, cinematic room sound.
Just a really quick demonstration there of what we're talking about. The thematic horns are pretty cool. And a lot of times what I will do is double apart You can also transpose the instrument. Hmm. Let's see where it sounds better. Definitely sounds better in that range. I used a little transpose feature here and just took it down 12 without going back and changing the MIDI. And so you can program all these things separately using the Abbey Road 1 modules. Uh, you can use an ensemble. Let me show you a little bit of something that I really like here. This is Forzno by Heaviosity. This is their full ensemble, just the longs. And then I've also combined that with Native Instruments Symphony Series, their brass ensemble. Now when I play brass, I like to play the first two notes of a chord. I'm sorry, the, the first and last note of the chord. And then I'm gonna play what you would normally use as the second note, an octave up. That's kind of how they do it for that cinematic sound. listen to these separately. Forzno is probably one of my favorite modules. The native instruments seem to bring in a little bit of the lows better. They can get a little muddy, so I'll drop some of the notes that I'm playing for that. The 
French horns on here just sound really good. Now I've gone into the performance of the ensemble part here and I've turned down the tubas just a little bit, left everything else kind of where it normally is and then bumped the, actually, I think I bumped the, left the trumpets where they are and bumped these down. But you can play with this, that's the cool thing. You can also play with where the instrument starts and begins on your keyboard. And this is kind of how I have mine set up. The tubas just get too muddy. So I'll use those as more of a bass. There's your trombones. And then we start mixing in the French horns. So this is where Forzno really shines. So Forzno also has a brass designer that works really well. And I used this actually on a couple of my Star Wars covers. With dynamics, or you can use it with your mod wheel. can set this so that it uses the sustain pedal or not and my horns up here don't 
So you can go into the options here and set your keyboard up, bass trombone set up down here in this area with uh, a sustain, but then I have another one set up for portato. And then up top, this whole section is the horns. And that's what really sounds good with the Star Wars. <laughs> That's it today, folks. Just a very quick look at brass. These are some of my favorite brass modules, and you can kind of see why. Forzno is really worth the money, um, but of course, don't pay full retail for anything. Wait till they run on sale. And you know, you have these uh, the Black Friday sales coming up soon. You have Christmas sales. Uh, always wait for these things to come at least 40% off. If you can get them 50% off, great. If you just can't stand it like me, and sometimes you just have to go ahead and buy it at the 40%, even though they're probably going to run it at 50% the following month, then just buy it because it's worth it. And you're only saving 10% at that point. So it's really worth the extra two weeks to a month of playing with your toys. Please comment below. Let us know what your favorite brass libraries are. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you will know when we post more of these videos. Have a great week.